Hi, Kevin Harrington, the original shark from Shark Tank, and I'm here in Vancouver at the Vancouver Club. I'm here as a guest of Warwick Smith, who's one of the in lead investors in a company that I'm on the board of called Lotto Gopher. And so Lotto Gopher is basically the Uber of lottery tickets. Think about it this way. Over the years, you know, Uber has digitized with a mobile app, both the taxi industry and Airbnb did this to hotels, but people still wait in line two hours to get that mega millions lottery ticket and they can only pay with cash. Lotto Gopher is now giving it the ability to do this online and with a credit card. There's 70 billion dollars worth of lottery tickets sold every year. Two billion winners goes unclaimed. So now you won with Lotto Gopher, it's put into your account automatically, and now you have it to spend on another lottery ticket. So you never get an unclaimed ticket again. This is an investment meeting. We've got all the investment bankers and all the original stockholders and the people that got this company up and running. We're having a presentation here. This company is symbol L-O-T-O -O, on the Canadian Stock Exchange just got listed in the U.S. also this week. If you buy lottery tickets, you want to check out Lotto Gopher if you're in California. Starting there, going to 22 more states soon from there. So thanks for, for being here today. You're here to do a deal today. I'm ready to do a deal. Sometimes you have to listen to your kids. Yeah. Uh, my, yeah. My, my business partner, his um, teenage son went to him, and, and this is a few years back. It says, Dad, Dad, you gotta buy Skechers. <laughs> What's Skechers, right? It's yeah. Like, not Skechers. Yeah. I don't think it's trading at three ish dollars or something like that. Whoa. It's like, Just stop. Sun side. This is the next hot. This is before like they had the yeah. lawsuit, though, yeah, right? Yeah. Then, <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah. so you gotta get out of that one yeah, at the right yeah. time. Yeah. The, the Jenners did a deal and they were they were making claims on their shoes about losing weight or something. Yeah. I forget what it was. With, right? with Skechers brand? Yeah. Correct. Oh, and so that's what that's what the cause of it going all down. Yeah. Interesting. Wow. Yeah. Just trying to stay on top of my <coughs> business today. Uh, you know, I got in Sunday. It's um, I, my buddy Shane's lives here. Thank you, appreciate that. Um, I don't have any cards, but um, um, I love this. this downtown. It's so cool. Like the restaurants we ate at. Um, oh, I forget the name. Nightingales last night. That you ever been there? It's a great spot. Love that. The whole waterfront. The walking around. The, yeah. Yeah, I, I just, last night I kind of walked around after dinner and, and checked things out. It's, it's just a great city and the weather's nice, you know. It gets a little chilly here though, yeah. But that's, that's good, but you know, it's nice. I grew up in Ohio, we had, we had the weather change. Discovery's only an 18 hour a day network, so uh, this was the, the first eureka moment for me that I said, okay, this is unused TV time, I can put something on there. And that's what I did. We, we put products on Discovery Channel. We started locally and then we went nationally and I uh, ended up with a six hour block on Discovery and the rest is kind of history because then we went into all the other TV networks and then we took it around the world. So, um, so this was the, the birth really of just filling the downtime of TV channels. Um, and, and we built it from uh, 55 million to 85 to 150 to 300 to 500 million in sales. And that stock is called National Media, symbol was NM, you can check it out. Um, I was one of the co-founders of that company and it ended up at a $20 stock. The problem, with my normal old school business was every product or business had a kind of a bell-shaped curve to it because we'd crank it, have big success, and then it would end up dying. And if we could you know, try to get some assets out of it, we, we would try the best, but oftentimes these things would end up having a bell-shaped curve effect. So um, I said to myself, 
I want to be involved with businesses that have continuity, that have you know, long-standing capabilities to continue to grow like, like this. In my business, now in 32 years of selling products direct to the consumer, I had one focus, and the focus was acquiring customers at a price like this, where the value of the customer, the sales, would be higher, obviously. So, so I, I think that's what I've seen in beta. Lotto Gopher has some tests that have shown me that the cost to acquire can be a lot less than the lifetime value. And so, believe it or not, um, I think the lifetime value of an annual customer, a Lotto Gopher, is about $248 lifetime value, which is pretty powerful. It's been a great run for me. I've spent um, now 30 plus years in this as seen on TV space and Shark Tank and all of that. But um, I, I have a kind of a new phase of, of my life that I'm involved with. And there's a, a, an old motivational guy in the US. I don't know if he's recognized his name up here, but his name is Zig Ziglar. And he passed away three years ago. And Zig had a saying that you can get everything you want in life if you help everybody else get what they want. And so that's sort of like my, my new phase the last number of years and going forward is I, I don't, I'm not a CEO of any companies anymore. I, I like to mentor and coach and be on advisory boards and board of directors. And, and this way I can just help other companies do what they need to do. And if there's an upside for me in the process, that, that helps. Obviously, I love that. And still motivated to, to build a solid company here, certainly with Lotto Gopher. But I also, like I'm on the board of uh, the University of Tampa uh, Entrepreneur Program, and they have control of the Collegiate Entrepreneurs Organization. It's called CEO. And CEO is Collegiate Entrepreneurs, and they have 272 campuses that they're located on with college entrepreneurs across the U.S. So I am the brand and, 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 and advisory member to all 272 colleges on a nonprofit basis. And I, you know, it's based in Tampa where I live, so it's my way of giving back to the community, back to the entrepreneurs, back to the young entrepreneurs, and sometimes, by the way, these college kids end up wanting to get involved in something that I'm involved with. So I'm excited to be here, to be part of the team, and, um, and just, you know, hey, thanks for everybody showing up today and, uh, and having a little fun with us today. So thank you. All right. Okay. Yeah, so I'm six o'clock. I hit the airport shortly. They, they told me, is get out of here by 3.30 at the latest, but yeah. um, uh, I may just hit it at the right time. Yeah, you don't want to, uh, you're starting to get a little bit into, little bit into traffic at work hour now. Oh, really? Not, yeah. Not too bad, but. Yeah, it's okay. I like to change and get out of, you yeah. know, like get into some casual clothes. Yeah, totally. And, you know, all that kind of stuff, so. Um, I'm doing a podcast this afternoon at five. So um, I'll get to the airport, get through security, and be able to do that um, once I get over there. Got it. Um, it's um, always. I'm gonna be like to people. I'll give you 50 bucks if you can lift Kevin's suitcase up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's 16 days in one bag. Kevin, tell yeah. him what the taxi driver said about your suitcase. Yeah, he said, he says, sir, I can't lift your bag. Okay. You know, so it's my life in this in these two bags. And he's not lying. Yeah. I just went to try and grab it and I was like, holy crap, do you have like cement in there or something? <laughs> so the next stop is actually heading to Los Angeles where, um, I mean, first of all, at the airport, I got a, uh, a webinar coming up at five o'clock this afternoon. So I got to get through security, uh, finish that, and then do the webinar right there in the, um, uh, at, at the airport, then fly to LA, and I've got a, an, an event, probably about 600 people in Los Angeles um, at, a, at a big um, real estate uh, kind of conference there. And, um, and then I fly to Nashville, and that's at the, one of the state parks in Nashville, Tennessee. And so, um, and then I got to fly back to Las Vegas, 
and, and do an event there. I think there's going to be about a thousand uh, back in Las Vegas. So, uh, you know, it's, I've had a great time here in Vancouver. I mean, look at this beautiful city. It's so amazing. Right on the water, the waterfront, the, the vibrant downtown, good restaurants, good shops, good people. And so, um, Lotto Gopher is uh, near and dear to me right now. It's my Vancouver connection for now. Uh, but soon, off to the races and um, into some other presentations and uh, big things for the week. So, thanks for watching and stay tuned. Kevin Harrington, over and out.